Hey everyone, so for today what I want to show you is how you can add a voice recording of yourself onto your Google Classroom and also onto a slide activity if you want. Um, so here goes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my web store. Okay, so I'm going to Chrome Web Store and I am going to download an audio recorder extension. So you do have a couple to choose from here if I do more. Um, the one that I tried out was this one. It was pretty cool. Um, but I actually started working with this one and this one's actually pretty cool as well. So you could try them out and see which one works best for you. So here's my audio recorder. I have it on my extension. So when you're ready to record something, you're gonna hit the record button. When you wanna stop, you hit stop, you could pause and so forth, right? Okay, so I'm gonna just say something quick to my class. Hey everyone, so today we are going to be working on translating a point through another point stop and if you want to hear yourself you can press play. hey everyone so today we are going to be working on translating a point through another point all right so you could preview your sound make sure you sound and you say exactly what you wanted to once you're ready to download this you're going to go to this three little dots on the side and hit download downloads at the bottom of your screen. So how are you going to upload? You're going to go to your class page and you're just going to add it. So here you could say, listen to the recording on what we will be doing. Okay, anything you want to say and you're going to add it by attaching a file. So I'm going to hit file and I'm going to drag it from my download onto my screen, upload. And that's it. I'm here. So I'm going to hit post. And it comes out. So when my students go on there, they're going to press Hey that. everyone. So today we are going to be working on translating a point through another point so they'll hit that and they'll hear my message so this is actually really nice for you to give them uh, some encouraging messages so i've been using this to just tell them like i'm very proud of them and i miss them a lot and you know stuff that they haven't heard from me in a while i do also do video recordings of myself to give them updates and just like little messages so you can also use this onto a slide page so how would you do that um here's my recording right if i want to attach that recording there is one extra step i need to do before i i just drag and pull it's i'm going to need to go to my google drive and put it into my drive so i drag it in there if you're going to be having multiple audio then you want to create a folder i usually upload a couple and then i start deleting them um okay so now that it's in there on my google slide so this is an interactive activity i had when i want to insert a audio i go to insert audio and from where from my drive so the first thing i just did select and if i click play hey everyone so today we are going to be working on translating a point through another point right so i could put that message maybe somewhere here so they know the topic of the day um and all they have to do is press play and hear me. I could also do that for instructions if I want them to pay attention to uh, the directions, um, if I wanna get them started on anything. Uh, there is a format 
option here. I've, I do a uh, on click, so they press that play button, it's gonna play. Uh, automatic, you would use if you're going to do some sort of presenting. So it automatically plays. So on click is right now what I'm using. Um, it says loop audio, stop on slide change. So I've been using the default that Google Slide already has. So that's one way of doing your audio. You can also, if you don't want to download another extension onto your Google Chrome, what you could do is visit a website. It's called Vocaro. And it's an online voice recorder. So Vocaru. And pretty easy here because if I want to record anything, I just press this record button. Hey everyone, I am missing you and I want you guys to do well on your uh, translating unit. Okay, so I could hear myself. Hey everyone, I am missing you and I want you guys to do well on your uh, translating unit. Okay, so once that's good, you're going to hit this save and share. And what you're going to do is pretty much the same thing. I'm going to download it. Downloads at the bottom of my screen. And if I'm going to upload here, if I'm going to upload it into my classroom, it's already in the bottom. I could, again, write something. Hello message. Add it from a file, drag it like I did before, and upload. And then once I post, they'll be able to hear me. Hey everyone, I am missing you and I, right, they could hear me. If I wanna add it to my slides, same process, before I just attach it, I need to make sure I download this onto my drive. So I'm gonna download it there by dragging it into my, uh, Google Drive and then attaching it that way. Insert audio. It's going to be here, my Volcaru. Uh, select. Here's my message. Hey everyone, I am missing you and I want you guys to, right? Same exact thing. Place it wherever you like and it's already by default on click and stop on slide change. So those are two ways that you could add voice recording to your Google Classroom page or to your interactive. So if you're creating an assignment and you want to add that, so let's say I'm doing a translation and if I want to add, let me just show you quickly. If I want to add the instruction piece as a voice recorder, I could do that as well by just pressing add file, recording myself, dragging it from the bottom or from my Google Drive if I saved it there. And my recording is always going to be in there as well. So I'm just gonna hit save so you can see how. Hey everyone, and, I am and missing you. And you could do this in multiple ways um using that recorder really useful now that we're not able to uh talk to our students as regularly as we did so especially my, the younger grades they like hearing uh your voices so hope this helped hopefully you use it and keep learning keep growing see you soon